Welcome back to Great Tastes of Manitoba. Mushrooms always in season. Um, we're going to check in with Aaron Allblast in just a moment to see his beverage pairings. But Heather Dybert, aside from all of the amazing little tools that you bring <laughs> to Great Tastes all the time, uh, go through our recipes. We, we made some beautiful things today. Okay, the first recipe that we made was a wonderful chili mushroom nacho platter. Uh, again, for any season and any occasion, uh, would be a wonderful appetizer. Uh, the second recipe we made was a uh, couscous mushroom chickpea. and chickpea couscous salad. Uh, again, make ahead, again, for any season, any occasion. And the last recipe was the mixed mushroom uh, with cream sauce, with a pasta cream sauce. So delish. Yeah. The recipes for this show and the complete series of Great Tastes are available on the greattastesmb.ca website. And one recipe from today's show will be in the classified section of the Winnipeg Free Press. So Erin, I'm not sure what you were thinking when off you went to create <laughs> beverage pairings, but you've got uh, seemingly a little bit of everything here. Yeah, you know, I really like the variety uh, in Heather's dishes today and it kind of inspired me to uh, bring out a little bit of everything from the pantry, so to speak. Um, starting off with the first recipe, I really wanted to feature a local beer. So we have Half Pints uh, India Pale Ale, which is a, a medium bodied beer. It's a nice balance between malt and hops. Uh, IPA is a, it stands for India Pale Ale. And I it's didn't realize that actually. Malt. Yeah, and what you can expect from India Pale Ale is more hoppiness. Hops are one of the ingredients of beer. They actually act as a natural pres preservative and they give a, a a bite, a bitter bite to the aftertaste of a beer. This one's about 50 IBUs, which is a way to measure how much bitterness will be in a beer. Wow. The higher that number, the more bitter you can expect it so to be. So can you come in and ask for something with lots of hoppiness? Yes, yeah, <laughs> so hoppiness that is that bitter flavor, but it complements food very well because it acts as almost like an herb or like mm -hmm. a, a palate uh, cleanser. Uh -huh. uh, the second product we have is from France. It's a white wine. It's called Vouvray. You'll notice from France, it'll typically say where it's from, not what it's made from. So Vouvray is an area of France where they grow Chenin Blanc grapes. And this is actually an off dry style of wine. So what's really nice about it, it's got a natural balance of acidity and sugar. So if you're ever stuck in a situation where you're not sure what to bring or you're not sure what to pair and you remember Vouvray, a little trick, it can go with a lot of different that, things. It kind of like straddles uh, like uh, both of those sides. Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Vouvray. And mm -hmm. then we have something quite interesting. I know you were intrigued by it. Yes. We have a scrumpy cider. Scrum scrumpy. So like scrumptious, mm, right? Okay. It's called Old Rosie and it's from the UK. Um, an interesting note, we, have, we carry ciders from North America and we carry ciders from Europe. They're both made from apples, they should taste the same, right? Typically what you see from Europe is drier in style and this one especially because it's also unfiltered if you notice that it's cloudy. Trepidity. In the UK, <laughs> trepidity. In the UK they tend to have more of a winemaking approach to cider, both from selection of varietals to, to production. Where in Canada it's typically the eating apples, so like the apples you find in the grocery store that okay. are either nicked up a bit or you know mm -hmm. they don't look so pretty mm -hmm. and they go into cider making. So uh, American cider tends to be a touch sweeter. Okay. The old rosy we have being UK style is a little bit drier and it's obviously unfiltered which you can see and it's also bottle conditioned. What's really neat about bottle conditioning is it's actually still actively fermenting when it goes into the bottling process. Mm. So when you open it, lots of effervescent, lots of kind of those yeasty flavors and uh, we garnished it with a little bit of a lemon twist. Very pretty. There's so much to know, mm -hmm. hey? And then I'm laughing about turpidity, but that's something that I learned being yes. part of Great Taste of Manitoba. Um, and so share with us what you've enjoyed, uh, what you've loved learning, maybe what you'd like to know a little bit more about. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course, check out our website, greattastemb.ca. We're gonna see you back here, we hope, <laughs> next Saturday night. Great Taste of Manitoba, thank you very much for watching. Great Tastes of Manitoba is presented by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Tastes is sponsored by Manitoba Agriculture. Promotional consideration is provided by the Winnipeg Free Press. We're there for you. Wardrobe provided by Loka Booty. Filmed on location at Grant Park Shopping Center. Great Taste is produced in cooperation with participating Manitoba commodities. 
Manitoba Agriculture, and Manitoba Liquor Mart. Great Taste is produced by Frank Digital.